What we have here is a, a glue up of maple and clara walnut into a chessboard or checkerboard. And uh, how this is done is you first glue up strips of uh, every other strip is maple and walnut. Then you cut it and then you flip and glue them back together. When you glue them back together, you have always end grain glue ups, which are very, very weak. And so in order to strengthen that, I'm going to laminate this to a piece of plywood. This is actually uh, a piece of white oak plywood. The core is MDF, all right? Uh, some people just say white oak MDF, but I call it plywood because it's three plies. Plywood, veneer, MDF, and veneer. Okay. Good idea to put glue on both halves. Make sure it's very, very wet. This is urea resin, the two-part adhesive. Um, has a pretty long cure time, so we don't have to knock ourselves out getting this in. When it does dry, it dries hard, 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 like a piece of hard plastic, which is what we want. We want no movement, good bonding, and this, I mean, it's right up there with epoxy. Glue this to a, that piece of plywood, which you can see is about a quarter of an inch bigger all the way around. And we put on top another piece of plywood. This is just a call board. And then it slides into the bag press. This is a bag press or a vacuum press. Um, goes by a few names because it is uh, it is the vacuum that we use to uh, smash all this down. So the other end of this is crimped off. Crimp this end off. And then I have behind me over here a vacuum pump. It's all up to uh, its full vacuum. And now you can see the bag is sucking down. And that will uh, clamp that onto that piece of plywood very, very well. 